So we got South Carolina fans mixing with uh, other fans here in the chat. So the other fans are pointing out, hey, you almost lost to Coastal Carolina last year. You almost lost to Vandy last year. Look at this brutal schedule. <laughs> Dalton, our guy uh, here, Dalton, though, says, hey, our roster wasn't nearly as good on the offensive side of the ball as it is now. Where do you stand on that? Well, it's certainly the Gamecocks upgraded at every position offensively, right? They, they did. And there's no denying that. Quarterback upgrade, wide receiver upgrade, tight end upgrade. Offensive line's the same, which was abysmal a year ago, but second year in the system, you return 129 starts up front, seven guys who have started six games or more on that offensive line. They can't go anywhere but up, Mark. So on the offensive side, you've upgraded every position. By the way, it was East Carolina. I know the uh, – if you don't mind me saying the slap oh, yeah, in the yeah. chats, I don't know who he's a fan of, but <laughs> he was. said Coastal. Yeah. East Carolina was a team. So listen, I give credit to what he's saying, right? Because I have to remind Gamecock fans all the time when they say, we could have won nine games last year. Well, we could have won four. Very easily, South Carolina could have been a four and eight team, right? People balked and scoffed at the Vegas over-under of three and a half, and I thought it was disrespectful, but – couple of those, you know, the ball bounces a different way. You weren't that far off from that Vegas over-under total, right? So, I, with that being said, the bottom line is this, though. South Carolina did win six games in the regular season. They did beat UNC's ass in the Mayo Bowl, and they got to seven wins. So, I think you take all of that into account. That's where perspective comes in. That's where logic comes in. And I think, again, the Gamecocks have upgraded across the board. I think they're more talented defensively top to bottom. I think the depth is there. And Shane Beamer showed last year he's going to do more with less, right? But on the offensive side, they've certainly upgraded. Um, as we all know, listen, the transitive property does not work in college football. I mean, that same Gamecocks team that it took a last-second field goal to beat East Carolina, again, they beat Florida by 20, and they beat Auburn, and they almost beat Kentucky, right? That was a single-digit game. So what does it all really mean, right? Like, where, are you really clinging to a week two result from last year as to why Carolina's not going to win X amount of games this year? It doesn't make any sense. Like, that, that is such a lazy take that somebody that doesn't know the roster, they don't, they don't look at anything beyond just the, the schedule, the result, and that's how they try to talk sports. So, so I don't mean to go on a rant there, but yes, the Gamecocks have upgraded across the board offensively. That's not me sitting here saying they're going to win nine or ten games, but – just because it took them a field goal to beat East Carolina, that's that to me is that's not a reasoning. That's not a solid. I'll give you solid reasons why Carolina might go six and six. I, I'll, I'll give you reasons because I, I can see both sides. There, there are there are reasons why Carolina. There are reasons to doubt why they may not hit that seven or eight win mark. You know, what I mean, there's still serious questions with this football team. I was arguing that transitive property with somebody a couple of weeks ago, and I said, you know what, you want to play that game. I took Ohio State. And I got them to losing no to Northern Arizona last year. It didn't take me long to tie that string together to get Ohio State losing to Northern Arizona. Hey, if anybody wants to use the transitive property, go back a couple of years ago and take that four and eight South Carolina team that beat Georgia. Shoot, you take that one and you could have uh, just about beaten everybody else in the country off of that win. Beat Georgia and then lost to Appalachian State. Explain that to me. <laughs> 